Hi folks, this is Max from 1xroot.com and I know you guys are waiting for Android 4.3. Uh, a bunch of you are twittering me, oh Max, are you going to support the HTC One? Yes I am, and here is a very stable build. Uh, these are CM 10.2. I've got it installed on my international HTC One X, the original One X, and also the AT&T One X or One uh, XL. And uh, first thing, let me go over the data. I know you were wondering about data. I'm getting perfect 4G LTE signals, as you can see on my left, and also HSPA. This one does not have um, LTE support, so obviously I'm getting HSPA plus or 3G. Um, working Data working flawless on both of these uh, builds. They're different ROMs, by the way. Um, the only thing I found uh, kind of quirky when you first install it, when you try to use the camera, sometimes it'll not work. Um, just a simple reboot fixed it. Now the one on my left has the, the camera it comes with. Um, and also focal camera can kind of sometimes not work, right? Um, when you take photos, it might, it might actually gray out sometimes. Well, that was one of the bugs that the developer actually pointed out. Um, but what I did is I simply installed the uh, the Android 4.3 APK file, and which also gives you a uh, Photosphere. So I've now I've got Photosphere working flawless. Um, just install that, and my photos are working flawless also. Uh, you saw the little dither there, but that will not affect the photo. Um, photos working just fine with this. And after I installed this APK, it, it somehow fixed the focal camera too. So now it's the focal camera is working. Uh, pretty good also but um, I do suggest using just the Android 4.3 uh, Photosphere camera it seems to work a lot better um, than the other ones that's that's the uh, Photosphere I just took just now earlier and then those are the photos I just took I'm um, so working pretty well I mean it's not you know uh, it's near perfect in terms of um, having that 4.3 experience uh, Simulation and Mod 10.2, these builds are pretty good. Better than any other ones that I've tried on some of my other phones. Um, the only issue that you must be aware uh, is that MHL uh, HDMI is broken, so you're not going to be able to, you know, you're not going to be able to uh, mirror and stuff. I don't use that much, but if you use that much, um, just go back to 4.2.2. Uh, and also, in your SD card, no, no, there should be an SD card. Never mind. Uh, works just fine. And as for installation on the AT&T One X or the One XL, uh, the developer says that you're supposed to uh, install the latest bootloader beyond S off. Um, actually, actually, just installed it without doing any of that. I just did the usual fast boot method. Um, I had to actually change the certs uh, to remove the bootloader check. But I just installed it, it works fine, everything works fine. Bluetooth works just fine. I've tested for hours on my Bluetooth speakers. Um, so just install it regularly. You don't have to update, upload, update the bootloader or get S off. Um, everything working fine. So definitely check it out. And uh, as far as performance on this, let me just grab one of these. Uh, it's actually pretty good, very, very smooth. I was rather surprised. It is much, much smoother than 4.2 and uh, working pretty well and switching between apps is a breeze and also I even got flash player installed which works with the browser it comes with the stock browser and this is uh, my androidroot.org which uses flash and working just flawless everything look at that um, so if you want a good stable ROM definitely check this one out I mean it is still supposedly beta this is nightly um, definitely use the one I used, uh, which is date August 21st uh, build. I'll have those builds there because if you use a f future versions, it might actually break some stuff because these nightlies are not, you know, um, each of them have different, you know, features and stuff because uh, it's a development process. But go ahead and try the one I use and uh, you should have no problems uh, for most of the stuff. I've even checked uh, a call, SMS. Everything working out of the box pretty good. Um, except for the camera, I just installed the latest AP, uh, Android 4.3 APK, and I got Photosphere, and everything seems to work even better after that. 
Um, yeah, so check it out for this week's ROM of the Week. And also you get some additional options um, you can play with here. Uh, display lights and uh, interface. You can mess with some of these stuff. Um, quick settings panel. You can change your tiles here. And also I do recommend doing the right. Then it'll, you, you can go on the right and it will pull down the quick tiles. And you can change the quick tiles here. Um, some of the stuff you should do is status bar. Well, you can mess with some of that. Notification drawer. I was going to show you something, um, but I forgot. Oh, lock screen. If you need shortcuts, you can get uh, your slider shortcuts here. All right. And clock widget, more widget, music controls. Um, looking pretty good. The HCC1. I think it has a better support uh, on the Sinogen mod and there's absolutely no flickering or weird stuff like that that I used to get. Let me show you a site real quick. Some of the other builds on like the Note 2 or the S3, there's some flickering going on with the stock browser. Um, this one works really well. And let's go to actually my site, 1xroot.com. Let me show you how smooth um, the website is. It is smooth. Like 4.3, I mean, it is super smooth. Look at that. It is smooth and pretty darn fast. Um, so I really like it. Highly recommend it uh, for those of you, you know, who want 4.3. Definitely start out with this one uh, because this one is more basic. But, you know, Sinogen Mod is where it all starts with. Um, so definitely check it out. Available for all the 1X. The 1X International and the 1XL or the AT&T 1X. And do let me know what you think, but I think you will like these. And uh, as always, um, if you have a 1X or 1XL, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, 1xroot.com. Uh, also, you can sign up in the description link. I put the sign up link there. Um, we update you like once a month with ROM of the week now, uh, ROM of the month. And uh, we don't share your email with anyone else. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button down there. And I will see you guys soon. Have fun with Android 4.3. It is pretty stable. Um, you will find maybe a bug or two. Uh, I hope not, <laughs> but I haven't found any bugs. Everything working out of the box. Um, you know, signal working great. All right, see y'all later. Stay high on 1X and 1XL.